Hi guys, so this is gonna be for Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna go ahead and do your next 48. So let's see what comes in for Sagittarius, angels and spirit guides. What are the energies for Sagittarius? What is going on with Sagittarius? What do they need to see? Sagittarius, four of swords, resting. Um, some of you just may feel very tired like you don't want to communicate. You're trying to temper your emotions. There's patience, temperance in the cross to this. Resting, getting enough sleep, not talking to people. Prayer. <laughs> Sometimes the Four of Swords... Um, he is in a church and he's like lying down. I mean, it can be like prayer, like you're asking your angels for guidance. There's a four of cups here. There's someone who is very dismissive. It could be somebody around you who is sulking. It could be you too, if you're feeling like you're sulking, feel bummed about something. Past energy here is the lovers, a blessing over two people, the energy of Gemini. But then we have here the energy of strife, arguing, petty, petty arguments. It's the energy of somebody here who's like, kind of like a narcissist, know-it-all, like somebody who's like, well, that's what I said to do. And it's kind of like a very arrogant energy here. Okay, future energy is the sun, happiness, joy, and success. So the sun comes out. The blessings here, the sun does come out, unless you're dealing with a Leo. Okay, nine of cups, or nine of pentacles, flipped pretty strongly here. There could be an earth sign around you. It could be just that you're, you're very independent. You're doing what you want to do. living your own life, doing your own thing. You could be uh, self-employed as well. And you could also be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right. What is in the environment? The moon. Okay, so there's some kind of uncertainty here. Um, something feels uncertain. It's hidden in the dark on purpose. So some people call that deception when it's hidden from you on purpose. It just might also be that nobody knows. Nobody knows what this is. So. It could also be an illusion. What's going on around you. The moon is the energy of Pisces, which is ruled by Neptune, which is the energy of illusions. It's not real. It's a fantasy. It's not real. Okay, so we have the energy of you're wanting an emperor, a person to be in power, powerful and very strong person here. Could be an Aries, could be authority. Okay, Gemini energy on the bottom again with the magician. So you could feel like somebody's trying to be manipulative too, but the sun does come out, so things get better. What is the final outcome here for Sagittarius? What is the final outcome? Mars, so this is Mars and Leo. It's the energy of standing your ground, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in. And there might be multiple people here who don't agree. What is the seven of sword, seven of wands, seven of wands, knight of cups, and yes, okay, water energy coming towards you, could be an offer of love, 
could be an, an somebody is reaching out to you, trying to express how they feel. Could be an apology as well, because there's this fighting strife or arrogance over here. And then they took come back to apologize. And then it's like, you're kind of like, no. Oh, let's see. King of Cups. The person really tries to show you compassion. Um, their feelings. They want to express their feelings. So this could just be like somebody's in a grouchy sort of angry mood. They feel hurt and their hurt and anger pushes people away from them when they feel hurt. The reason why they feel hurt is because he's holding the three of swords. The three of swords is about heartbreak and it's about pain, inner pain, like mental pain, things are hurtful. There's this energy here of withdrawing, like with not wanting to talk. So, Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn, could be Taurus, Virgo, Earth energy. You're coming up as Earth energy. So what is the Four of Cups? Okay, Six of Cups. Could be a friend that's trying to reach out to you and you're like, I don't want to talk. You were a jerk yesterday and I don't want to talk to you. Um, what is the moon in the environment? What is the moon in the environment? King of Cups is a Scorpio. What is the moon? What is the moon? Okay, we're not getting any poppers. The moon is hidden, it's an illusion, it's deception, it's not real. Things can feel uncertain. Oh, I can't shuffle that much. Okay, all right. So what is the moon energy? I wanna know. <laughs> what is the moon? Oh my gosh, the moon tried to flip again. What is this moon energy? What's being hidden? There we go. Six of Cups. Hmm. Something from the past regarding friendship. This is the energy of innocence and friendship. The victory, fire sign energy, getting a lot of attention. Victories. A burst of activity. Oh, so somebody could be taking the credit. The moon would be, it's an illusion, it's not real. Somebody here is getting recognized. It's not real. Okay, so what is the seven of wands? Knight of wands, fire energy, moving, taking action. Ace of coin is here. A, a new beginning. What is the sun? What is the sun? Devil, just Capricorn. Here's this four of cups where you're just somebody, you're just like not interested. You're like, no. And the world, it's almost like you, you really don't want to talk to them because something they did or said was arrogant, cocky, toxic. But the sun comes out. So what is the sun? It's too many. Something to do with that king of cups. Could be a Scorpio because it was with the death. So what is the devil? Where are we getting the devil? There we go. Page of cups. King of cups. Water energy. Getting a message from someone. Maybe they're obsessed with you. That could be an obsession. What is the five of swords? You don't want to talk to somebody who's like totally obsessed with you and in love with you. And they think that you're just like amazing and mm, it could be somebody from high school or even earlier. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Who is this five of swords? 
What is the Five of Swords? Seven of Cups. There's confusion, confusion about this. It's like you don't know why they're acting this way. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe they have a lot of money. Oh, I'm just going to leave it with that one. Queen of Cups. There's a water sign coming in towards you. This looks like somebody's trying to express how they feel to you. And it could be a person from your past. It could be an old love interest who's still obsessed with you. And the way that they came towards you was like cocky and arrogant. And you're like, no, I don't want to talk to you. You don't even need them. But it could be an earth sign. It could be a water sign. The moon in the environment or the moon in the way that they see you means it's an illusion. Like they don't have an accurate perception of re the reality. It could also be that the, the way that they're making themselves look like they're trying to make themselves look like a hero and maybe they're not really. There's something here that's hidden. You don't know. You don't know the truth. You're hoping for an emperor. You're hoping for somebody powerful and strong, maybe like a, a husband or something. You get a king of cups and a knight of cups, but you're like, no, no, no. Hmm. A person could be like too obsessed. And their approach is kind of wrong. So you're just like, I don't want to talk to you. It is a potential. It's the universe giving you a coin. Look at what's coming out with the Four of Swords. Rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap. Get some rest. You've been working hard. Take, take a nap. Get some rest. You need to rest. With the Sun card here coming into your future energy, I feel like things are going to work out just fine. It's about happiness, being happy. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it here for you. Thank you and take care.